Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and in this video I want to work you guys through the unfinished business quest and kind of show you every step as you go through it. And this is going to get you the Deterministic Chaos Machine Gun, which is actually pretty fun. This is the one we saw in the trailer. So the first thing you need to do is beat the campaign. And then once you beat the campaign, you need to head back to Nimbus and the Holly Heroes. You're going to talk to Osiris and you're going to do some other stuff in there. Without basically spoiling the story, depending on where you're at in it, you'll interact with some things in there. And you're going to come back outside after you do that stuff, and you're going to talk with Nimbus. Once you're done with that, you're going to be on to step three. Now, step three is going to be kind of your first initial activity step. So what you're going to need to do is collect Cypher Quibits, and those just drop from Vex. So anywhere on Neomuna, just run around any of the zones where you can find Vex, kill some Vex, and you're going to be picking up Cypher Quibits. Then what you do is use those to extract data from cloud accretions. Cloud accretions are going to be the planetary resource. Now, we don't pick up planetary resources as a currency anymore, but every time you pick them up, you usually get some like reputation for the vendor and stuff along those lines. So same thing's going to happen here, but every eight cipher quibits that you have, um, you'll be able to extract data from those cloud accretions. Now, picking those up in general is a good thing, because you're able to get more reputation on Neomuna, which helps you kind of unlock some stuff at the NPC Nimbus. So I would advise, you know, if you see those, pick them up. And if you're having any struggles finding those, what I would recommend is going onto your ghost. And depending on how much you are worried about, you know, experience and things, what you can probably do is leave your experience at six. But then if you're going for resources specifically, you can do enhanced resource detector and you can get it at 50 meters. So you should be able to see them pretty far away, and they're going to help you spot them on the map. That way you can find the ones you're looking for. So every eight Vex, or, you know, maybe. they Maybe they don't drop all the time, but I had a lot. I had way more than I needed. So go find Vex, kill them. Every eight that you find, if you see one of those resources, extract the data. Do that five times, and you'll move forward. So the next thing you're going to do is locate the final data packet in Maya, Maya's Retreat. Now, Maya's Retreat is in the southeast of the map. So if you're looking on Neo Muna and you're in Lemming Harbor, it's going to be that section Maya's Retreat that is farther to the outside, uh, to the east. And basically, I'll give you guys kind of a quick preview. Hopefully, you'll see it on screen here of how you kind of get to that area. And then it's hard to miss. You just kind of funnel your stuff through. Uh, but if you want to follow along, you can. So we'll go through just actually getting to that destination. So this is how you get to Maya's Retreat. Basically, if you're in Lemming Harbor and you're facing right here into this little hallway, so you'll notice if you're kind of on the southern end of the city, there's a public event going on, but basically it's this little cavern right in here. Now all you're going to do is run down this pathway, and I'll take you guys on a quick guide to get there, so just follow along on screen. It's not too bad. You can kind of get around. If you have Grapple and Tangle, you probably can... Uh, Make some quick progress. I did it a different way the first time I came through here on another subclass. So it's not really a big deal. I just kind of came up top here just to kind of skip over some of the ads. You can do this. You don't have to. But kind of worked as a way to skip over some of the ads. Didn't seem to have worked out and not killed me. So I will take it. Don't go this way. My bad. Now, from here, you're going to want to head through this direction. And we're just going to keep going up to there. You're going all the way to where you had kind of that first strand fight that we had. Uh, and you'll remember it once you see it. I'm also trying to level up my Quicksilver Storm so I can get the Catalyst, so forgive me for using that. And again, you can run by most of these guys. Jump it on up. There might be different ones for the quest, but in general, looks like it's not too bad. And again, running by most of this is probably the quickest way. You're going to have some Vex, you're going to have some Minotaurs. But as you just got done killing a lot of quests for that earlier part of the quest, you're probably just going to be okay skipping them. So keep running through. Let me grapple, let me grapple. There we go. And then once you're up here, you'll know. This will ring a bell from the campaign. If you're back on this little kind of plateau section here, we're going to have some Vex, but I will cut back to the video so you guys can actually see what's going on. But this is how you get here. All right, so once you've made it to Maya's retreat, you're going to see the Vex Conflux in the middle. You're going to go try and extract the data packet. You're not able to do so. 
you're going to have some Vex attack that happens in, I think it was about three waves. And then when you're done with that, you're actually going to be able to extract the data packet. Looks like it's inside a conflux. Yep, so we're going to have to do our thing here for a minute and take out some ads. If that's all it is, we'll just edit forward. It's a wyvern. You can finish those at 50%. Are we are we done? Maybe. Maybe now we are. Recover data packet. Try again. Okay, Nimbus. The last packet is on its wait, what's this pattern? So once you extract the data packet, your next thing you're gonna do is go to the radio sond. And the best way to get to the radio sond, I'll show you guys real quick is I have the fast travel unlocked, but you gotta come back to the Lemming Harbor and it's down here and you've actually gotta go all the way through this little ship area. So let me teleport and I'll show you how to get to the area. And basically you're gonna meet up with Nimbus and Osiris. I don't know why you had to meet him specifically in this spot, but you did. But it's a bit weird to get through all the little passageways and make sure you're going the right direction. So let me guide you through it and then you can listen to them chat and we'll move on to the next step. But for now, basically, when you land, we're going back in that thing. Which I guess the radio sound is probably like a ship. Something like that is, I guess, probably why it's got a weird name like that. But biggest thing, I'm just going to try and run through it. So there's going to be enemies through here. I'm going to try and skip as many as I can. Jump up in here. And you'll remember this stuff from the campaign, too. It kind of, kind of clicks as you're running through it. So once you're out here, you can make these jumps. So don't overthink them. You don't need the strand grapple to get through here. You can do it without it. I wasn't entirely sure for a minute. And that's the thing. It's like you usually, you should be able to do just about anything with any subclass. So don't think that you're limited. I'm glad I didn't get detained. I hate those little guys. See if I can not get exploded by the big guy. Yeah, with all these ads in here, you can just skip them. You don't have to fight them. If you're worried about being underleveled or anything, don't worry too much about it. It's not that big of a deal. You might have to kill a few enemies, apparently. So allow me. Yep. So maybe you got to kill a few enemies to open the door. And apparently a few more. Bust out the heavy weapon. Hopefully I can make this quick. Doors open. And again, your whole goal is you're basically climbing the whole way up and you're just going a very roundabout way to get there. Now you might have some chunky enemies in here. I'm just gonna use my super to speed this up. Trying to be speedy for you guys. And again, this is a cloud accretion. It's these little things on the ground. So from here, I don't have to do anything with the fan. I just have my little grapple here that I'm holding on to. No need for it, just running. And this is where you need to get to, right here. So once you get here, you'll see Nimbus and Osiris listen to their discussion and they'll move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is going to be going to the Lost Sector called the Thrillodrome in Lemming Harbor. So if you've driven down, maybe you don't have the uh, fast travel point yet, Strider's Gate to Ahimsa Park, and then if you're coming straight down from there, you're going to pop out here. And all you're going to do, you'll see the Lost Sector little node over in this wall, but you really got to go inside the building, and then I'll show you where it's at. So go past these guys, and you're going to run to the middle, and we're going to start going up. So you actually got to go little roundabout ways to get to these lost sectors. And then once you're up here, you're going to be looking for that red flashing light to this little air ventilation duct area. Work your way around. Fall on down. And then once you get close enough, it will actually kick over. There's the Thrillodrome shows up. And then you're going to head inside, basically clear out the entire lost sector. And then I'll see all of you at the end for the next step. Just die. There we go. And now that we have the code, we should be able to open the chest and get the goodies.
All right, so that is the Vex Compass, and on to the next step. All right, so the next step, it says, basically make chaos or cause chaos in Ahimsa Park. And the best way you're going to do that is just killing enemies, it seems like. So the more enemies you kill, the better if you use your abilities. That will cause the damage even faster. One of the best things you can do, if you see the disruption hack going on, that's actually a really good way to basically just have a ton of enemies spawn in and coming at you. So that's a nice way to get a good supply of enemies to do. So basically just use your abilities, use your super, kill enemies. If you use your super, you'll definitely make a good chunk of progress on this one. And then when you're done with this, we're going to head over actually into the big ship once again. All right, so the next step is going to be number nine. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually go into the Typhon Imperial, which is Kallus' big ship. So if we switch over to the screen on the map, you'll see the Typhon Imperial is this massive thing. But basically, I'm like right out here outside the door. So I kind of came up over on this side and we're going to run inside. So follow along. I'll guide you all the way through to get there. And then the room we're going to, if you want to skip ahead a little bit, basically it's the big circular room um, that we fought, kind of getting one of our little strand moments during the campaign. But I will try and go as quick as possible through here. But at least I want to show you how to get there, because the reason I'm going through the guidance of directions on some of these things, because well, it's a new destination, so I'm trying to make sure nobody gets lost. And again, these are the types of enemies that we'll deal with and I'll just skip them. The second time you come back here, we're literally jumping like right to there and there's just a portal you go through. So remember that. But most of this you can just like skip by jumping up and just kind of progressing forward. And then it's mostly just knowing where to go. So if you don't want to fight the enemies once you're in here, you don't have to. I went through and fought them previously. That's why I'm kind of re-recording this as a quicker path so you guys don't have to worry about that. Now, this was one of those moments where I actually get lost, and it's up above. Once you get up in here, it's up there. So, quick perspective shift. Once you're here, you know, I just jumped up. I jumped up on that block, jumped over here. When you see the big statue of the dog, the war beast, look across. And again, same thing. Skip what you can. Should be another jump here. Still always picking these things up, basically their reputation with uh, Nimbus, and that's just going to help help you progress in stuff that you can do. Once you're up here, you're looking for the big glowing door, as long as my jump doesn't fail. And again, we've gone through this once, but just a quick recap, if you, uh, you know, may have been a minute, forgot where you were going, a little lost in the ship. Once you see the purple stuff on the ground, you're going to have some enemies, and then once you can jump through this portal, we're pretty close. All right, so this is the big room where there's a lot of enemies. Now, when I got to this step of the quest, I cleared out all the ads and I went to the left side of the room over there and it says you could collect something, but nothing happened. And then I came over here to the right side of the room and I collected something kind of right there at those jars and that's where I collected it. So let me cut over to where I actually am able to collect the quest step and we'll go forward. All right, whichever side of the room chooses to work for you, that's where you're gonna get your seed of silver wings to pick up once you've got that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is head back to Nimbus at Strider's Gate, just kind of the normal NPC area for him. Then once you've landed, we're going to talk to him, and he's going to give you kind of a big text wall, talk to you for a little bit, and then we're going to go on to the mission, What Remains. Now, this mission I'm going to play through completely because it is basically, one, a cool place to go to, didn't see him using it. Um, but it is a bit of a lengthy journey. Some people may have never been in the location before, so I'm going to guide you through it. So let's get to the mission, What Remains. So now we are in the mission, What Remains, and in theory, we are in, we are in the Black Garden. Man, that's actually pretty. Okay, screenshot is done, but yeah, if you've never seen the Black Garden or this entire area, it's kind of beautiful. Wish we got a little more of that sometimes, but let's Where head inside. Good. Oh, this is so cool divisive? looking. Not a Vex in sight. <clears throat> you should be proud, Nimbus. Rohan's passkey worked perfectly. I'm I honestly curious how this goes. Out on the action. All the more reason for them to stay out of the garden. It has this is likely going to be a raid area. Such emotions until they blot out yep. all reason. So, quickly and quietly now. Find a conceptual mind 
grab its memory core and get out. Yeah, so we're going backwards through the Garden of Salvation, if I remember this correctly. But it looks a little different. Pretty sure this is not how this normally looks. Oh man, okay. Range might be a really good thing here. That's a lot of fanatics. Focus on getting past them now. We can dwell on the how later. Did not really want to fall down and give up my height advantage, but I guess we'll work with it. Now, just like in the Garden of Salvation, you are going to be dealing with Cyclops, so watch out for those. Focus on those first. My weapons are hitting, like, extremely hard right now, more than normal. And I didn't do anything different. So I don't know if this is just a certain level or what, but... The weapons are hitting, so that's nice. Like, my bow for hitting a Hydra on, like, the... Yeah. Not a bad thing when your weapons hit hard. So, ranged weapon is what definitely I would advise in here. I'm going to take out what I can from far away. I think that's most of them. Man, this place is cool. So as usual, oh. see I just one tap that guy, it's not a normally a thing you get to do, at least not lately it feels like that. So you gotta find perspective to be able to hit the boxes. That is a giant force field. It's kind of cool that they're reusing some raid stuff honestly. That is one heck of a trip there. Okay. Um, so again, we need perspective. Made it through. Though I still don't understand how that happened. Wow. Unless we tripped an alarm on the way in. It's possible. Perhaps Rohan's Alright, I'll be honest, this actually is an awesome mission to use this kind of in reverse. I know reverse may seem a little cheesy to some people, but looks pretty cool to me. Oh, there's no way in heck I'm going to survive this one. I'm going to die. We'll try that again. Okay, so don't go for the crazy leaps like I just did. We are going to want to work our way around this thing. Yeah, it's advantageous to come up here and actually get the better shot. I was going a little far off base. Yep. So yeah, come over here to this side. Just watch for that thing potentially trying to push you off. Now you should be able to get down where you need to go. Alright, so we'll work our way around the outer rim here. I feel like people used to, like, glitch over in this area. Oh. Watch for those. They will try and ruin your run a little bit. Yeah, this this place feels like where people used to glitch to or something. Yeah, this is kind of awesome, though. Yeah, if you've never been in the Garden of Salvation Raid, welcome. Now, you want me to do what? Probably run the upper rim up here. Yeah. So watch those little things trying to potentially mess your run up. Should be able to make this one though. Yeah, we are going very backwards through here. Can't remember if this is where the divinity quest actually took Looks you. Like someone right. beat us to the next security measure. Okay. Sorry, friends. I couldn't sit this one out. I owe this to Rohan. You owe it to Rohan to do your duty as a Cloud Strider. Like you know what it means to be a Cloud Strider. Ouch. Okay, got some music going down. Yeah, the things are just not the same level as like Neomuna. Neomuna is like a high level activity. Just the whole planetary surfaces. 
Okay. Those are supplicants. You do not want them to run in those. Nimbus, how did you even get in without a pass key? You know that conflux you found back on the Omuna? Ah, oh, a little ricochet action there, so. More than just a light show. Nope. Almost had the jump. Yeah, I totally remember that. It's been years, literally Shadow Keep, so your multiple expansions removed from that raid, but yeah, being a little out of practice probably shows a bit there. All right, so now we seem to be in the middle. Guessing we gotta hold down the fort again. Oh yeah. Against like every angle. Now we gotta do a little ricochet action. It seems like the laser will go through, but we gotta find the ricochets to get it all the way around. So if the first one was here, that's clear. Oh, there it is. Don't seem to have to aim too hard. You just gotta find the right ones. What are the Taken doing here? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. I don't know about your end, but they're slowing me down over here. Be careful. If the Taken are there, you're in for an even tougher fight than we expected. Taken in the Garden of Salvation seems like extremely weird I'm gonna guess is everything else is covered in red shields that I kind of have to go this way this was on the day one raid encounter as far as my team got was this third encounter oh supplicant fun that is a lot of fun over there I suspect the Taken have been sent to do what the Soul Divisive refused to. To cover the witnesses' tracks. Completely. So they're going to run you around this entire yeah, arena, and there's like mind. multiple Clearly sides to it. Knowledge presents a real threat to the witnesses' plans. Uh. We need that memory core. Nimbus, wait! No turn to lose. Last one to the conceptual mind is a disappointment to Rohan's legacy. As if they needed more cause to act rashly. Guardian, you have to catch up with them before I'm, it's too late. I'm working on it. Bit of a taken jumping puzzle maze here. Which was not a taken jumping puzzle maze before, I'll be honest. It was totally separate. Range flight over there. I'm gonna figure out where I'm supposed to be going because they don't really make it obvious. Oh, I think I have to just kill all the blights. That's a uh, focus at the moment. The new Queen Breaker weapon or the Queen weapon sounds good. Yeah, would definitely advise a ranged weapon here between snipers and wizards and just forever far away stuff. Yeah, it does seem like you're probably going to need to hit all the blights because those were kind of targeted. Hey, 
understand this. That was effective. I know you feel you have to do this for Rohan's sake, but Rohan is dead. I can't do anything for him anymore. Except to live up to what he taught me. A Cloud Strider does whatever it takes to keep Neomuna safe. We don't hesitate in the face of danger. We don't let pain stop us. We let it remind us that... You're still breathing, still fighting. Yes, I know. You shouldn't let pain stop you. But you can't let it propel you either. Trust me. That path only leads to more pain. Oh, this is the end of the first encounter. We're just going literally reverse through the entire raid. Yep. Yeah, this is kind of the running section of the first encounter. It's really cool in here. Like, I want to grab another screenshot kind of cool. Like, in theory, we're on Venus or connected to Mars. It's always unclear where the heck this place is. Ask one of the lore experts. They would know. But yeah, let's hang out on this planet a little longer. That seems cool. Big shield. I found this. It's Cloud Strider Tech, all right. Oh, there's Brown our weapon. Probably ran right past this spot when he. Looking at this, all I can think of is how Rohan didn't need weapons or fancy mods. Sure, he liked his gear, but. He didn't need all that to defend our city. To do his duty as a Cloud Strider. Just what I should be doing right now. You take it. Use it to get the blueprint. Meet me back in Neomuna when you're done, okay? Cyrus, we caught up with Nimbus. There it is. They're on their way back to Neomuna. You convinced them. Well done, Guardian. Must be your way with words. But you'll need more than that if you're to reach the conceptual mind before the Taken. Don't forget what you're here for. We're on the move. I'm sure you guys actually want me to use it. So, let's see. What could I use... So I'll just go with disparity and that. If I can remember how to get down from here. Oh, they're gonna give you a ton of ads. Taken are pulling ahead. Time to really let loose, Guardian. We can't let them destroy the conceptual mind. Ow. At least not until we get its memory core. Big giant hook kind of gets in the way of your vision, but oh, we got some volatile rounds on now. Oh man. Yeah, you're kind of meant to use this weapon, so you're probably going to want to switch to it. Try not to fall in the hole. It's a smooth weapon, which I like. It's very easy to use. Which helps. It's hitting like a truck in this mission because everything is. Still not entirely sure why that is, but... Oh, volatile rounds with this thing. I can get volatile rounds when I pick up an orb, so I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I need a bank shot, but I need to kill something to get the laser beam. Not entirely sure where that would have been. 
There's not one just like hanging out on the ground. Alright, that's a little confusing. Ah, a little laser beam action. Does everything ricochet though? Where's the other one? Yeah, you're probably going to want to use this one because I think you almost have to. Those little heavy ammo generation spots are sure nice though. Volatile with this thing is going to be pretty crazy. Because first you weaken, then it goes volatile. And we are back at the start of the raid. I wonder what the heck I do here. There's the conceptual Boss fight. And it's failed creation. Or it's God. Huh. I never really thought about that before. What kind of beings create their own god? And it's not even an original. Happens more than you think. A little bit. Something to ponder after the memory core is safely in hand. Right. Focus Watch up, out for Guardian. your supplicants. Get melted. Oh, I see how it is. Checkpoints. Okay, I really love the sound effects on that thing. Pew, pew. clean scope. I gotta get up there, though. Put one there. I need to get a little lower, then. I'm not hitting quite the right angle to tag him. Now granted, we start the raid here. We've never gone back behind it, ever. I gotta get a little different angle. There we go. That's it, just a little angle. weekend right now which is really nice for damage now i don't know if i have to chase him or what's gonna happen next where are we going quick tour of the raid and then some that's a lot of harpies that's probably why they give you a machine gun enough to be able to hit the laser shots and I also need the ricochets to be able to hit them. Alright, where am I? That's that one. So we probably got to come over here to hit this one. Not the best angle. There you go. Now if the shield's down, should be able to take him out with some cover.
Oh, uh -huh. I need like one bullet? That's actually hilarious. Okay, let's not die. And finish it. One to the face. Literally needed one. Alright, so let's take the memory core back Looks to like Nimbus and finish this thing out. Well, that wraps up the quest for the exotic machine gun. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this guide. Hopefully it helped you. If it did, please drop a like below. If there's a piece I missed or something, or just let me know your thoughts about it, drop that in the comments. If you guys want to find me on Twitch or Twitter, I'll be streaming off and on with Lightfall pretty consistently right now, so check me out over there on Twitch. But if you're new to the channel, I've got tons more guides coming your way for Lightfall, Season of Defiance, Artifacts, Weapons, tons of things still coming. So hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell, that way you don't miss anything. Good luck out there, and I'll see you in the next one.